Hey everybody, Johan Magnussen here, Big Sweet Barbecue, and today we're making an amazing quesabiria on the Memphis Pro Cart ITC3. Now the first thing that we want to do is light up the Memphis wood fire grill, so here's how we do that. We want to start up the grill, setting it to 500 degrees, and we want to use oak pellets for this cook. The Memphis wood fire grill is now up to temperature, so now it's time to prepare the spice mix and the peppers. We want to place three teaspoons of sesame seeds in a cast iron skillet. You also want to add three teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of mixed peppercorn, a two inch cinnamon stick, two teaspoons of coriander seeds, four whole cloves, and four bay leaves. Then we want to place the cast iron pan with the spices in the grill. And now we're gonna grill this until fragrant and the sesame seeds begin to brown. We wanna remove it from the grill and then we're gonna place the spices in a grinder. Then you wanna grind this into a fine grind and set aside. We're gonna cut the stems and de-seed a couple of peppers. We're gonna start with six Gallo chili peppers. We wanna do the same with three ancho chili peppers and also three small chili de arbol. Then we're gonna add these to a cast iron skillet and place them in the grill. And now we wanna grill these until they start to blister about five to seven minutes. You wanna turn them occasionally and remove the peppers when they're charred. The spice mix and the peppers are now ready, so it's time to start working on the birria. Now it's time to add a large cast iron pan to the grill. Then we wanna add two to three tablespoons of olive oil. Next, we're gonna add about two pounds of goat stew meat, cut and trimmed into one inch cubes. Then we wanna cook the goat meat until browned on all sides. When ready, remove the cast iron pan from the grill. Now we're gonna remove the goat meat from the pan and set aside. And then we wanna finely dice one large white onion and add to the pan. And you also wanna add about seven cloves of minced garlic. We're gonna place the cast iron pan back into the grill. You also wanna stir in the spice mix. And now we wanna saute the onion and the garlic until the onion's starting to brown. Next, we're gonna add four cups of beef broth, and then we're gonna add the roasted peppers as well. We wanna lower the temperature to 350 degrees. Now you wanna simmer this about 20 to 30 minutes. The peppers have now been in the birria for about 30 minutes, so now it's time for the next step in the process. You wanna remove the cast iron pan from the grill. Then we're gonna add 14 ounces of diced tomatoes, canned. We also wanna add about two tablespoons of Mexican oregano and two teaspoons of ground thyme. Now you wanna use an immersion blender and blend this until completely smooth. You wanna season this with a couple of teaspoons of sea salt. Next, we wanna add the brown goat meat into the pan. And now we're gonna simmer this until the goat meat is very tender. This will take about two and a half hours. The birria has now been simmering for two and a half hours and the goat meat looks amazingly tender. So now it's time to finish this dish. We're gonna remove the cast iron pan from the grill, and now you wanna remove the meat from the sauce and allow to cool enough to shred. While we're waiting for the meat to cool off, we're gonna tear some Oaxaca cheese into string. We can set the cheese aside. When the meat is cool, you wanna shred it with your hands, and you also wanna add a little bit of the sauce. Now we wanna add a griddle into the grill and increase the temperature to 500 degrees. Working in batches, we're gonna dip a flour tortilla in the pot of sauce and place on the griddle. We wanna add a little bit of the waka cheese and a little bit of the goat meat. Then we wanna fold in half and brown on both sides. This will take about three to four minutes. We're gonna pour the remaining sauce into small bowls. And then we wanna add some diced onion, some cilantro, and squeeze a little bit of lime into the bowls. Then these quesabiria tacos are ready to serve. And that is how I make my quesabiria on the Memphis Pro Cart ITC3. Now, if you wanna know more about Memphis Wood Fire Grill, check out their website, memphisgrills.com, for more recipes and inspiration. And I think the only thing left for me to do 
is to try this and look at that. That is beautiful. So let's get a good dip in there. And the key thing when eating tacos is tilt the head, not the taco. So here we go. Look at that. Oh, wow. This is so good. I hope you try it at home. Happy grilling. Hmm.